Riot Games is going to release live action TV shows or movies set in the world of Runeterra. So with your favorite champions, right? You can find this information on their website where you will find a recent article where they mentioned some of their future projects. Obviously, they will continue the arcane style shows in the sense that after season 2 we will have at least one new project set in the world of Runeterra and this was already confirmed and of course Christian Link who is the co-creator of Arcane will be the one to lead the production of the upcoming show. Of course, then they also announced the live action part of their project ideas and this one is really interesting because live action in the world of Runeterra is extremely exciting to think about. The second studio will be led by Brian Wright. He joined in 2021 and well if that name doesn't say anything to you, don't worry, it doesn't say anything to me either. All I can say is that he was involved in some capacity with shows like Stranger Things, Umbrella Academy and Shadow and Bone. He was the head of family and young adults programming. I have no earthly idea what that means. Maybe he had to study young adults to find out what they like and implement it in the shows? Moving on, what does it mean for the average viewer of Arcane, for example? Well, you're eating good because if Arcane was this good, I'm, I'm not sure if they will lower the bar with the upcoming shows. Christian Link has already proven himself in front of everyone, in front of the world, right? We can also mention that not only the gamers, but also people who have no idea about the games enjoyed the show. We will expect the same from the upcoming show whenever they release that. When it comes to the second project idea, one thing is certain, they will require a lot of money for the live action stuff. However, on that account they are safe because they make a lot of money, especially with League of Legends. I mean, have you seen the price of the skins? It's insane how much money they can make from that, but then I am skeptical about one thing. Can they make a compelling story for the audience, not only the gamers, but also people who have no idea about League of Legends or the lore of Runeterra? Because I need to see the same kind of dedication which I can see in the Arcane team. Like I mentioned, Christian Link, he was involved with Runeterra stuff for a long time. Hire someone like him or hire the person who wrote the short stories unless that person is already working for you. Because the short stories are amazing and they shouldn't be thrown in the garbage, right? Right now, I believe there is room for speculation in both cases. On one hand, you have the Arcane-like show which will be released sometime after Arcane Season 2 and on the other hand, you have the live action adaptation. Both of these are interesting ideas to think about. I will start by talking about the idea of the show which will be released after Arcane. And I believe it will be Noxus. Why do I say that? Because they were already introduced in the first season of Arcane and then furthermore they will be in the second one as well. People keep hearing about them, see them on the screen, some of them are extremely badass and they want to see more of course. Now there are a lot of characters to talk about when it comes to Noxus, for example Darius, but then there are others which make a lot more sense when you think about it and I believe it could be Riven. Why do I say that? Because she will start on a farm, then she will progressively go on to be a soldier for the Noxian Empire and she will fight in the war against Ionia, only to then switch sides and be brought back to the Empire to fight as a gladiator. I believe that's a cool idea, cool story. By creating the storyline between Noxus and Ionia, you can enable other characters to in the future show Piltover and Zon again to all the people who have seen Arcane. That's amazing in my opinion. Besides that, I know there are other characters from Noxus which travel through zones, so you can have two zones covered, but I would love to see Ionia as the second zone, and to me, Riven is probably one of the best characters to have this transition from Noxus to Ionia. I think this is the way moving forward. Make a show centralized around one region with the second one being introduced as well. Similar to what they did in the Arcane show, right? This way you can cover more of Runeterra and by the time they released the Riot MMO, because I believe that's the pinnacle of their projects, 
they will have a solid basis for the entire lore. That's what I wanted to say related to the animated show, now I will move on and talk about what I believe they could do whenever it comes to the idea of a live action project. Well, either a movie or a TV show. A movie would be great, a TV show even better I would say. And well, the idea could be the beginnings of time, the formation of Runeterra. You will have a character like Aurelian Sol, who was there since the beginning, and I have to make a note here. The voice actor for Aurelian Sol is amazing. Furthermore, by creating a movie which is going to tackle the beginnings, you will not have it overlap the animated shows. Which is great in my opinion. You might be thinking to yourself, why would I care about overlapping when they could simply go for Demacia, as an example, in the live action adaptation, and they can pick up anything else in the animated series? To which I'm going to respond, yeah, I agree. They could go with whichever idea fits best with their narrative direction. What I just said was my personal opinion on how I would see things happen. What I don't want to see in the live action adaptation is Pilt of Renzon. That's basically it. They can go on and pick up anything else, but as of right now, we have an amazing show in Arcane, and I wouldn't want them to pick it up and mess it up, right? Because it's very, very easy to mess up something like that. And I'm obviously not talking about the characters because their story is over in Arcane, or at least it is right now, because they could show them in the future whenever they make other projects, because there are characters who travel a lot and they could go on in their journey and find themselves in Piltover or Zon and meet one of the characters from Arcane, which would be amazing to see and quote me on this whenever it happens. To recap everything I said in a few sentences, in the case of an animated show I would like to see Noxus because there is a lot of potential in that area and of course specifically Riven because she travels from Noxus to Ionia and they will have a fight there, Noxus versus Ionia, that's pretty much the storyline I would like to see in the upcoming show, then they could move on to a third show when they can talk about Ionia, right? That's why I said that Riven will be able to enable other characters from another region, right? From Ionia. Of course, you can also have Swain in the story. Riven will be for the simple life of an Oxian, and then Swain, the political life. Moving on, I mentioned the theory of what I wanted to see in the live action show, which is going to be the beginning of time. Everything that happened in the beginning, which I believe could very well be a great way to portray the story of Runeterra to a much larger audience who know nothing about the games, or Arcane for that matter. That was a longer video than what I usually post on the channel, but I believe this video could be relevant for many months to come and why not post something much more thought out than the average video, right? But if you want to see more, you can subscribe to the channel and also if you want to know more about Arcane, you can click on this video over here.